my name is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my February and what I got up to. I got all my notes for February and I want to go ahead and get started with the numbers. It was 2, 3, 19. And if you know from Monsters Inc, that's 2319. So that was pretty exciting and fun. Just a little silly um, number thing, kind of like Pi. Yesterday was Pi Day, 314. Yes, it's the 15th. It's the middle of March, and I'm finally getting this February video out there. But better late than never. And I'm putting no pressure on myself. I just kind of wanted to do this whole February um, video whenever I felt like it and did it. So we're going to do it. Tricky? Sorry, I had to deal with Miss Trixie, my kitty, because she was making a bunch of noise with blinds. Anyway, let's continue with the sad fact that I actually broke my camera lens in the month of February. It was like the first couple of days I was outside recording doing the yard work, and I was going to try and do um, a video weekly of just like everyday clips and kind of put them together at the end of the week. And upload so I was trying to do that and then my camera lens broke so I was like well okay never mind <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore so I'm actually recording on a bigger fancier lens I guess I don't know it's not as handy for like vlogging and like my outings and stuff so but here I am still making this video so let's move on to the next thing I have my notes because I'm gonna forget was the Super Bowl was um, this month this past month I guess <laughs> you get it um, it was the Rams and the Patriots, Patriots won, and we had a friend over and we made a bunch of snacks and we just kind of chilled and it was fun. It was, it was laid back. Usually we go kind of all out for a Super Bowl, um, but this year it was kind of, we explored quite a bit and when I say we, I mean my daughter Natalie and I, because um, my husband Corey is at work all the time. And my brother-in-law, Ethan, is at work too, so it's just me and my little mini-me, my little buddy. Um, we go and explore. And we saw um, Terrytown a little bit. We went to Barnhart Park, I think it was called, and then Patriot Park. And it was a lot of fun. I can't wait to go back on a nicer day. And yeah, I, I just enjoy seeing new kind of areas of New York. And that was a good day to remember that we'll be going back. Corey's office had a dinner party that they were hosting. And we all went to the city, went to this fun bar, and we kind of had drinks together, had some appetizers, just kind of hung out. And then at the end of it, Corey and I kind of branched out on our own and explored a little bit of the city. And we just walked around. It was kind of fun. We got some cupcakes. And that was such a late night because we were not paying attention to like times of the trains coming back to our town. So it was it was exhausting, but it was fun. It was kind of like, oh, okay, we know better for next time. But we still, you know, explore a little bit of the city. So that was cool. We don't usually get to do that. The whole family got together in Albany. We all met up and we went to the Children's Museum or the Science Museum or something or other. And we all just kind of wandered and explored and that was cool. And we went, in my voice, we went to 16 Handles. It was like a frozen yogurt place. That was delicious and really cool. Um, I like it when all of us like kids are together. Um, so. That was fun. I'm glad that we were able to do that. I um, wish we could do it more, but I'll take what I can get and now you have fun. So yeah, it was cool. I like road trips. You know, it kind of gives you a, a chance to get away from your phone and just play, you know, road trip car games and stuff. So it was, it was cool. It was a lot of fun. Valentine's Day was February. Um, Corey got me some flowers and some chocolates and we went out to Morton's Steakhouse in downtown White Plains. It was very fancy, white table, cloth. You know, they had so many selections of wine. We had a couple of glasses, and the fries that we had were really, really good. Uh, yeah, it was fun. It was it was a late night. It was, it was cool to have a chance to kind of dress up and feel fancy for Valentine's Day. So, and then um, I took Natalie's, like, holiday picture, too, and I really enjoyed doing that. It's 
getting extremely hard to have her sit still for a amount of time, but she really enjoys it too, I think, like our little photo shoot that we do. So, yeah, that was cool. Valentine's Day. We found a church that we like. It's in Scarsdale, Scarsdale Community Baptist Church. And we've been a couple of times. We want to go more, but I got really, really sick. Um, I, Okinawan people call it double dragon. Just both ends were very unhappy. It was not a pretty show. I actually had to call Corey home from work to help me because I couldn't take care of our child and it was scary. So I had to have him come over and he ended up making me some oatmeal and Natalie ended up feeding it to me. So it was kind of cute looking back now, but man, was I miserable. That's another like down fall pit, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, of February. So that wasn't nice. February got quite a bit of snow and I did quite a bit of shoveling. Um, it is quite the workout and I tell you like my back hurt for a few days after and it was awesome one time I had a couple of neighbors, two separate neighbors come over and help me do the driveway. Um, I usually have to try and go out there and do yard work when Natalie goes out for her nap and by the time I was able to put her down, get dressed and get ready to go out the door, they were already almost done with the driveway. So that was so cool. I was like in shock. Like you guys are so awesome. This is nice. Like thank you. You saved me from a lot of, a lot of like sweat, you know, from doing this. So that was really cool. And to kind of pay it forward, I guess, I helped my neighbor um, shovel her driveway a little bit as much as I could because I was tired too and I think Nat was waking up at that point so that was cool good good deed from the neighbors helping with the, the snow we explored Rockefeller State Park Preserve um, here in New York uh, it was kind of spontaneous it showed up on the map I was just driving around figuring out what to do and we kind of just showed up and then got the stroller and walked around and it was really cool. It was so pretty. It had just like snowed and rained like a couple days before so it was all slushy and muddy. I'm glad that I wore the boots that I did and we just kind of walked around and it was like okay we'll go this far and then stop and go back. Go this far and stop and go back but I kept wanting to continue to walk. So it was really like captivating. It was so nice to go on the hike and just kind of be out and try not to have any plans. So that was really cool. I actually made a video of it because I just wanted it to be remembered. Um, the videos I did take and the pictures. So I definitely want to be going back when it's warmer and go for like a proper hike around the lake one day. The last thing that I want to note for February is Natalie turned 18 months. And it's such a cool milestone. Uh, I made a video for that as well. And that was really cool to put like a bunch of videos together of over the months of her growing up. So that was a lot of work and it was fun. But I just, oh, I can't believe it. She's 18 months old. It's, it's cool. I'm loving watching her grow up. To me personally, can I tell you a secret? I hate it when people say, oh, I just want my baby to see a baby and little, I don't want her to grow up. I'm like, no. I want her to grow up. I want her to learn. It is so cool to watch her experience things, you know, for the first time and learning and like just expanding and just being so excited. And yes, the tantrums are getting worse. You know, she's becoming pickier at what she eats, but I'm loving it. Like, yes, we have our hard days, but we also have our really cool, awesome, fun days. And I'm loving watching her grow up and become her own little person, you know, her own little Natalie Jade. So I am looking forward to her, like making new friends and going to school and, you know, coming home and telling me all about her day. Like that excites me, you know, I don't want to, you know, taking care of a baby and a toddler is tough work. I don't want to have to like freeze time and not want her to grow up. Like I want her to move past this phase and get fun, if you know what I'm saying. So on that note, um, I'm going to wrap up the video by saying I think in January's video I wanted to address like my goals and expectations for next month. So for March, it's the beginning or it's the middle of March, but whatever, it's okay. I said, um, I think in the beginning, whenever it was, that I wanted to be better at cooking. I'm not better at cooking, but I'm trying to be more consistent about making meals for the family during the week instead of 
just like, oh, whatever we want, or ordering takeout or something. So um, that's something that I've been slowly working on. Um, so yeah, I, for, I guess the goal for March would be to just, I don't know, I don't know. I'm on this kind of kick of clearing things out again, and it feels nice, and I've been actually selling a few things so I guess that's my goal, is just to keep that up. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks so much for watching. It's just kind of just a laid back, nothing really too special. Tricky's in the window again, so I better hurry this up before she makes more noise. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more videos. I'll update you in March, and I love you. Goodbye, thanks for watching.